everyone. I am back with a, another scrapbooking kit. This one is number three. Um, this is to finish off the baby pictures um, of my daughter. So I kept all the scrap pieces from the previous kit so I can tie in those um, papers in with the new kit that I did. Um, so I have, I'm going to put everything in this iris case here. I have, um, the scrap pieces, you can see those, from the previous, uh, kit. So, there's quite a bit of scrap pieces. I think this is the only full sheet that was left um, from that paper pad. Uh, I believe as a, it was from Michaels. And this pink with gold is pretty much the colors that were in the kit. Here's a piece of the gold paper and then there's some little pieces from other papers that I had pulled into that first kit so there's that um, I still kept um, these alphabets that I ended up not using and the fabric paper pad also, because I did use a sheet of this in the other kit, so I kept that in here. And then I pulled some papers out of several different paper pads. Um, because there was, there, it's a specific color of pink, so um, I went through several paper pads because there was only maybe one or two sheets in that paper pad that would go with the color of pink. Um, these first two papers are, the first papers are from a Recollections 6x6 paper pad called Love. And I only found these two papers that go with the pink that I want. A striped and this has like swirls pattern in it. Um, that's what the paper pad looks like. And I only found one pa uh, paper that came from Paper House paper pad and it's a 6x6. Six six. It's called Blossom or Bloom. Sorry, Bloom. And I just pulled this sheet out. Um, because the main flowers in the paper was roses, so this is white roses, so that would go nice with what I'm, I was looking for. So I have those papers. And I pulled one sheet, which is this one, out of the Nana's nursery baby girl paper pad and um, one sheet this one out of the Be Mine paper stack from DCWV from this one pulled two sheets out of flea market um, crepe paper paper pad and that is this polka dot one or diamond shape and this heart one this is pink is a little dark but the other half of the hearts are the 
bright color of pink so I thought that would be okay to use and then two sheets out of Tea Party from Craftsmith paper pad here's the paper pad and which is a very beautiful paper pad and I can't wait to actually use the other pages in there but it only had two of the pink that I was looking for so here's this one and this one um, this next two pages I pulled out of Boardwalk Sherbert and it's a Craftsmith paper pad so I have this one and this pattern was also in my last kit the paper pad that was for my last kit so I thought that was cool and the color matched perfectly and so did this one I had a similar um, striped gold in the other kit and this is the paper pad it came from And I pulled in two sheets of textured cardstock um, and the pink that I was wanting. So it's just cardstock and um, it does have a white core. And I pulled that out of the DCWV um, pastel cardstock pad. And I pu pulled several sheets out of. DCWV the pretty princess stack and I did use some sheets from here um, in the last kit and I went ahead and pulled a few of those sheets that I had used before pulled those out again so um, I did use a little bit of green uh, from this pa paper pad last time so I pulled some green this shade of green it's a pastel looking green so I went ahead and pulled that out this one was from uh, the last kit also so I do want to tie these pages together so I thought this would be okay to use here's another striped but in pink um, this also these two this one and this one I did pull out on the last kit so I decided to pull those back into the kit again since I already used them. And that is all the paper that I pulled out for the rest of my photos that I have left. And I kind of kept some of the same embellishments since it is still the same stack of photos. Um... Sorry, I'm putting these papers in that iris case. Um, but then I did also pull in some different uh, embellishments. And I have some, I have the same stamps. Um, I really like these background stamps, so I kept those. And I pulled this in what that looks like this is those two were recollection uh, stamps and this one is pink paisley and hero arts good friends pull this one in because I like the you are someone special um, you are perfect the way you are always thinking of you I thought those could fit nicely in some of the layouts. And I kept this floral one and this jelly bean soup stamp set. And then I pulled in this glitz. 
design stamp set. It doesn't have a name. Or does it? Love. Love Games is what it says. So I really like this heart right here. I really would like to use that. Um, these little banners. Any of this really could be used on any of the layouts. So I thought I would pull that in. This stamp set is from the our craft lounge. Um, I bought this when they shut down their uh, store online, but it does have a small love you on, in there, and I thought I could use that on some labels. Um, you are the greatest thing about me, and then it has these little hearts, heart stamps right here. I thought I could use some of those. So. I pulled those in. Set these aside. And then um, I when I cleaned up from my previous uh, kit that I finished up from last year, I went ahead and put all the little embellishments that could fit in here into this case. So I still have the tiny little hearts, the gold trim, some of the buttons, the heart buttons I was using. Um, the At the end I pulled these in, these bottle caps. I, I don't think I ended up using any of them but I, I'm keeping them in the kit. And so these doilies. So there's um, Plenty of different little embellishments in this one from the previous kit is already there set aside. I pulled out this trim from Hobby Lobby. Um, I thought I could just cut out the separate the uh, roses and use those on layouts. And this very thin ribbon, um, it's an eighth of an inch wide and it's a sheer pink ribbon and then this uh, trim that has little white sequences in the center I pulled those two things in and this one was um, a trim from Michaels they're all white so I pulled those in I might try to use some more trim in these layouts and some spare part buttons. There is gold in, in this um, kit. Uh, so these have one, two, three, four buttons that are gold, a uh, white one, and two clear ones. So there's only this one and this one. I probably won't I won't be using those don't go with the kit but the rest of them do so I pulled that in I pulled this in because I really like this flower white flower here so these two are probably the only ones I'll use out of these um, embellishments from uh, recollections um, pulled in some white uh, iridescent leaves from Martha Stewart. Oops. And Recollection Flowers, which I used one in the previous kit, so I thought I could use those again. The little white duckies. Um, the rest of these little flowers. Kept those. Um, kept these labels. I pulled in this Paper Studio Flowers and Butterflies. Thought those roses would probably go. So there's those. Pulled these back in, or kept these in. The um, orders from Martha Stewart. 
the Sticko Hearts. And this one's new. This one is Bella Rouge from Pink Paisley. And um, there's some, the pink that's used in these embellishments um, do match the pink that I'm looking for. So I thought I could use some of those. This is Glitz and Glitter stickers from Hampton Art. Oops. So I pulled those in. The uh, Paper Studio Religious Sticker Pack. These um, Paper Studio Alphabet stickers in Craft with Gold and Black with Gold. Pulled those in. Uh, Amy Tangerine Thickers called Grace, so they're words. So there's those. And these um, mini um, bags in white. The Tim Holtz um, chit chat word chit chat words. The gold paper studio words. Uh, K and Company gold uh, borders. Gonna try to use up the rest of these Craft Mart crepe paper stickers. Some. DIY shop hearts stickers in gold. The Project Life doilies. Didn't get to use those the last time. I'll try to use them this time. Uh, K and Company alphabet and words. The Dollar Tree doily stickers. These uh, packages come with two sets of stickers. This says it only has seven stickers, but there's actually 14. This one says three stickers, there's actually six. So there's two sheets of each in here. So I really would like to use more of those. And this is one of the kits that has plenty of pink and white in it. So um, I thought I could use them up, use quite a bit of those in here. Uh, one of these hearts left. And there's some of these hearts. These white doilies. These, I believe I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. These are from Joann's. These are Martha Stewart little doilies. I think I got those at Joann's. Um, I might use these. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's that the right gold color. But these are some gold flowers from Sticko. Um, some little uh, rhinestone flowers from Dollar Tree. And this package here is full of the cutouts from the previous kit. So I had two sheets of the cutouts left and I just cut all the things out and put it in this bag. So I have these two match up into my new kit. So that is what this little bag has and there's tons of them in there so I'm not gonna show all of those. And then there's some of these uh, embellishments that I made. This has a light green. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes. A light green edging and then a pink. And this one here, and then this one's just pink. I'll be cutting this part off of this one. And, uh, let's see. This, oh, these pink tag doilies. And that's it. I think that's it. That's everything. I mean, I'm going to use um, 
some enamel dots, which those are just a thing here on my desk. And, um, oh, I am going to pull in these um, stickers that I used in my last kit because I didn't use very many. And I'll pull out a few of those so I can show you. Um, these stickers here. These are Happy Camper. These um, other ones here. Me and my big ideas. And there's just different ones that I did use in my other um, kit that I didn't use very many of, so I'll try to use some of these. These are Lullaby. So that that's everything for this kit. Um, and I'll be back to share other projects that I'll be doing that are not scrapbook related so thank you so much for watching and thank you for commenting and I'll see you next time bye bye